Well, hello. Welcome back to Soul Search Sunday with Johnny Tiger. The date is December 11, 2022. It's been a relatively productive week, and at the same time, there were days that were very, very low key, very relaxing. Just the kind of week that I personally like. Yeah. A lot of people be, uh, uh, beside me, a lot of people that in my life, they think that I'm the kind of person who wants to go, 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 go all the time. But no, that is not really how I work. I am more, what you would say, the kind of person that enjoy a long stretch of calm and peace and quiet and boredom and monotony. And then... When things actually need doing, I can put on a real spurt of energy and speed and I can go like my pants is off on fire for quite a while. Uh, but the bottom line is I do enjoy a bit of quiet and boredom. Now, um, before we continue with today's episode, let me quickly remind you guys, if you want to uh, keep in touch with me and uh, interact with me outside of YouTube, you can now find me on Twitter and Instagram by using at JohnnyTiger1981, at JohnnyTiger1981. Uh, I will be posting uh, photos and, uh, of action figures, of cats, of uh, my artwork, and a lot of goofy goodness that uh, I cannot post here on YouTube, not because there's a law against it, but just because I don't really know how to uh, get pictures uh, on here. Um, also, I want to uh, quickly mention this. As of this coming Wednesday, so this coming Wednesday will be uh, the 14th, so on the 15th, I am officially on holiday, so it's going to be Christmas break for the Johnny Tiger, what would you call this, diary, podcast, daily cast, webcast, whatever you call this, uh, for the Johnny Tiger show. We'll be going on holiday, and we will be off for about a month, maybe a month and a, a week, a month and one week, something like that. Um, but don't worry, I will try to uh, occasionally post maybe shorts or uh, some new content. But just know that uh, if you start to wonder what happened to Johnny Tiger, how come he's not posting daily video, uh, I'm still here. I'm just on holiday. Okay, We all need a break once in a while uh, to get new perspective. Now, last time I went... Uh, I, took, I, I took a month off. I ended up organizing everything on this channel onto their own relevant playlist so now they can be a lot easy, e uh, easier accessed by people. Yeah, if you have not tried them, this is a good way to find the video of your interest. For example, if you like just the Wisdom Wednesday, then you can go under playlist on this channel and just look for uh, Proudly Asian, uh, Wisdom Wednesday with Johnny Tyler. And all the Wisdom Wednesday episodes are there. And you can just uh, play the entire playlist and uh, watch them to your heart's content. If you just enjoy the Music Monday, uh, they are sorted into three categories. Music Monday English Edition, Music Monday Ch Mandarin Edition, uh, Music Monday instrumental edition so you can uh, find exactly what you like and this is true to the tactical Tuesday and survival Saturday as well uh, there's they're sorted into self-defense and Krav Maga and striking and a uh, close quarter combat and grappling uh, and all that stuff so yeah if you have not been utilizing the playlist function it is a really quick way of filtering out videos that you are not so interested in. Although, I hope that you are interested in all my videos. 
probably not so much time that I'm pretty I'm pretty sure a lot of people get tired of just hearing me rambling on and on about nothing in particular and Soul Search Sunday. Speaking of a Soul Search Sunday, uh, sometimes some weird thoughts come to my head. Like I can be in the shower and some really weird thoughts can come into my head and make me laugh. Try this on. Uh, try, try this one on for size. Uh, I was in the shower a couple of days ago and suddenly I started thinking, I wonder what the world would sound like if every time you smack a mosquito, either the mosquito will say, ow, like, a, like, you know, well, like when you smack a person, or if you miss, the mosquito will uh, make some relevant comments in human voices. Like, can you imagine how noisy the world would be during summertime in tropical country? Like, all you would be hearing everywhere is like, ow, hey, hey, stop that, ow, ow, ow. It'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. It's winter time. There's no mosquito. I, I don't know why that just popped into my head. And then, uh, try this one too. Can you imagine how horrible life would be if every time a mosquito bites you, it hurts like when you get stung by a fire ant? Ooh, yeah. That's some hor horrific thought right there. Like, can you imagine a whole bunch of Blood sucking, flying fire ants. Yeah, yeah. Let Let's not dwell on that one. <laughs> so this week, um, I went back and uh, searched through my sociology notes and a lot of the notes on social interaction, and I came up with something. It's not very long, but it's a little. Uh, thing that I came across in the past that I thought is quite interesting uh, to think about. In this world, uh, according to some, according to some, there is four levels of people. Yeah, only four levels of people. The highest level, the most successful, the alpha, the pinnacle of human achievement, the alpha of the alpha, the omega, the best, these are people who usually, now nothing is a blanket statement, so we are going to say usually, these are usually people that have very big skill, but very little attitude. Very big skill, very little attitude. Look around yourself and think of who are some of the most impressive, amazing, successful people you know. We can even draw from pop culture or mainstream, okay? So, so since Johnny Tiger is blind, I'm going to throw this one out there. Helen Keller. Uh, we are going to throw uh, uh, names like... Uh, Beethoven, Mozart, Bruce Lee, yada yada yada. Let's just think of some names of really, really successful people. Although, okay, let's 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 uh get real for a second. Even though Helen Keller was impressive, even though Bruce Lee was impressive, even though uh, Beethoven was impressive, they were nowhere near being the alpha, the most successful, the most impressive people in the whole world. They were impressive because of what they were doing, yes. But they were definitely not like the alpha in the world, in society, right? Especially not while they were alive. So with that in mind, let's just take a moment, think about who are some of the people that you consider to be the pinnacle of human achievement. The best, the, the 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 alpha dog. A lot of these, when you really get to know them, they really are people with great skill set, a lot of resources, and very little attitude. 
coming from a martial art uh, standpoint, this is very, very true. And I mentioned this in the past when I did an episode on uh, the three levels, the three levels you will come to in a martial art journey. And the highest achievement is when you no longer feel that you need to have an attitude. So when you talk to a lot of the greatest martial artists, some of the greatest that's been around, when you talk to them in person, you will find that these are just everyday people. They, these people, they're not like how you imagine that they would be so spitting fire and with sulfur coming out of their ears and ready to bust through anything that's standing in front of them. These are usually people that are pretty laid back, sort of like Johnny Tiger, but Johnny Tiger is nowhere near being the best or alpha. <laughs> I'm just throwing that in there. Uh, but yeah, like it's like the classic say, if you are truly a badass, then you don't need to prove to anybody that you're a badass. You know, if you're truly great at what you do, then you have no need for other people's affirmation. Right? Lately, Johnny Tiger has been doing a lot of artwork. Now, as some of you know, I've mentioned this before. Uh, I am trying to get my uh, foot into the professional arts world. And, and I will tell you, this is completely new and scary to me. When I do anything martial art related, because I've been doing martial art for so long, and I have been through a lot of competitions and fights and sparring sessions, and I've taught a lot of students. When I am dealing with martial art, I have no need for other people's approval. If you like me, you like me. If you think I suck, I suck. I don't care because, hey, I'm still here after all these fights, and I'm, I, I, I'm doing okay. So that is my proof in the pudding right there. So when it comes to martial arts, I am at that place where I have no need for people's uh, approval or affirmation. However, finding myself in the world of fine arts, I find like I'm like an insecure person who just gotten into a relationship. Whenever I send people my artwork, I feel the I, I feel so jittery. I feel uh, always unsure if people don't respond to me, if people don't say anything about my artwork, people don't give me that pat on the back. I feel oh uh, maybe maybe that one sucked. Maybe uh maybe I'm really not that good. Maybe I should just stop doing this. Like there's a lot of doubt in my mind. So when it comes to art, I'm still not at that level. I, I still need uh, affirmation. I still need approval from people. Uh, and this is a quite a new feeling for me. I, I haven't felt that way about things for quite a long time. So anyways, that, that's me digressing a little bit. But yes, when, when you run to people who have reached the pinnacles of their achievement in their given field, or uh, in whatever that is that they are do, the greatest leaders, they have very little need for attitude because they can get things done without attitude. And they also understand that if you have too much attitude, you end up building people that you know, you're, you're creating people that don't like you just because you have too much attitude. And most of the greatest leaders in the world know that you need people around you to do your bidding, to help you, to uh, watch out for you. Otherwise, well, you're so high up, when you trip and fall, it's going to be a long way down. So that's our highest tier, the most successful, the most uh, alpha people. The second tier, the middle of the road people, middle of the road people. These are people with a lot of skills, really great skills, but these are people that also have a lot of attitude. 
And it's usually that attitude that prevents them from reaching the top tier, prevents them from reaching becoming the alpha. Right? We we can、uh, name a lot of names that are like that. The people who are so good at what they do, and you think, how come they are not like the best? Well, it's because they are also kind of a hole about it.、Uh, people don't like them, and when people don't like you, it doesn't matter how good you are. Honestly, like you can be the best in the world, and if no people don't like you, you are not going to get that far. So, it is important to keep that in mind. It's okay to have pride in yourself, but when you have a lot of attitude and a lot of skill, then middle of the road is probably all you will ever be, because there are just going to be a lot of people who don't like you. And when they don't want you at the top, you won't get to the top. Okay, especially in a democratic country where、uh, people's opinion actually matter. When the, there are elections and votes and stuff like that, you need people to like you. And this is true for workplace. This is true on the playground. This is true even in the family. I, okay, you know, for example, if I am the most Successful person in my family. I let's say I make a lot of money, and and I、uh, I know how to get everything done. I I am super super rich. But because of that, I also am full of attitude. When I come home, whenever there's family meeting and stuff like that, yes, there are going to be people that put up with that because they like my money. But there's also going to be a lot of people who just don't give a damn. And they won't like me, and because of that, I won't be a very welcome member of the family. I'll never become、uh, a very、uh, respected voice at family meetings, because a lot of family members will gossip behind my back and make up rumors and 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 try to put me down because they simply don't like me. So, yeah, just because you have the skill. You might still want to, you want to、uh, keep a lid on the attitude. Number three, the low tier. Okay, the low tier. This is something that we see so often around us every day. Okay, at work,、uh, in martial art practice, and uh, uh, at the bar, at the at the pub, at the bar you go to, the low tier are the people. Who have big attitude and nearly no skill? Okay, I'm sure right there and then you can think of a lot of names around you. People who talk, 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 talk. They talk a big game, but they don't know how to do anything. Right? Even in the martial art world, we run into a lot of people like that.、Um, I remember a few years ago, I saw this interesting little research that showed, on average, most men overestimate their own fighting prowess by like a hundred and eighteen percent or something so crazy like that. And it is true. We、uh, in, in the martial art world, there are a lot of people who talk, 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 keyboard warrior,、uh, computer superman. But when they are on Reddit, when they are on Uh, 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 other forums, they talk like they invented karate. They talk like they they can handle two or three special forces soldier at the same time. And then when you actually meet them, it's some middle-aged guy with a pot belly who never worked out a day in his life. Yeah, okay, whatever, dude. So yes, so this is a low low tier low tier、uh, in human society. Is people who have big attitudes, big voices, very little skill. Last but not least, the invisible tier, or the invisible tier. This, these are the people that are meek and unseen. These are people who have very little skill and no attitude. No skill, no attitude. You become an invisible person. A lot of time, you go through life being bullied. Your voice is never heard. No one, including、uh, people you may be attracted to, they don't look at you. 
because there's just nothing special about you. Right? This is a very sad place to be because even if you have no skill, if you have big attitude, sometimes sometimes you will draw some people to your side. You will at least get noticed, right? People won't forget about you. But when you have no skill and you have no attitude, then a lot of time you will get forgotten by people. And when you are forgotten by people, then, well. You are no longer part of the equation, are you? Now, this is not to talk down on people who are in this category. I'm not saying that you are trash, you are no good, you are pointless, useless, or any of that. I'm just saying that if you find yourself in this category, you say, "Oh, you know, I don't know. I I don't I don't have any attitude. I don't." I don't feel any strongly about anything, and I don't do anything. I just I I don't do anything good. I don't have a skill. I don't have any resources. Then, my advice to you, my humble, friendly advice to you, is to start building on both. Start working on getting good at something, and start feeling confident enough that you can talk. About that subject,、uh, for example,、uh, this is just an example. You know, you don't have to do it this way. For example, if you find yourself not having a voice in society, you don't have any attitude. You don't know what to say. You're always shy. You're always scared, and you don't find that you have any skill. Well, start、uh, picking up something like playing chess, playing piano. Playing video game, anything, anything that you can actually talk to people about. Hey, I have you heard of this game? I'm really, really into this game. I I think I'm kind of good, but、uh, I don't know. Would you Would you want to、uh, play and uh, 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 have a couple of games?、Uh, do you Do you play music? I just started learning how to play guitar, and、uh, I, I I would really like to、uh, ha- get some. Opinion on how I'm doing. Like, you need to create subject matter when people can link you to, and this is one of the most important thing in human interaction, in societal interaction, is people need to be able to establish a link between you and them, common language, common、uh, place of birth. Commonality, any kind of commonality that people can find, the more, the better. The more commonality you have with someone, the more easier it is for that person to come to know you and trust you and like you. This is why a lot of time when you go trying to get a job, when you go trying to get things done, if the person in charge is from your hometown, if if you. Are both from Taiwan, for example. If you are both from Kaohsiung, Taiwan. If you both、uh, came from the same school in Taiwan,、uh, you will suddenly have a great advantage over anyone else, because to that person, suddenly out of millions of people, he or she has found someone who have this common origin with them, and that makes people feel good. So if you are the person who is on the bottom tier, the in, invisible tier, finding yourself have no voice, no attitude, no skill, then it is time to add something to your resume. It is time to add something to your skill set. It is time to start opening your mouth and developing at least a little bit of an attitude. But yeah, don't overdo it. <laughs> Anyway,、uh, that's a little bit of a rambling soul search Sunday. I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll be back again tomorrow for some music Monday. For now, have a good night.